Hi there. I'm Brian Snyder. I'm the pastor of Bower Hill Church in Mount Lebanon. I wanted to talk to you about the Bible. You hear a lot about the Bible, but what is the Bible? How do we use it? Why do we use it? Can it still speak to us in these modern times? Considering that it is such an ancient book, um, the Bible is something that causes perhaps a lot of controversy between people because we all tend to look at it in different ways and expect from it different things. And quite frankly, we very often get out of the Bible what we have brought to it in the first place. And so what I wanted to tell you about is something called a hermeneutic. A hermeneutic is how you read any piece of literature. Let me give you an example. You do not read a poem for factual information. You do not read a newspaper article for poetic inspiration. There are different types of reading. There are different ty types of expectation that you bring to anything you read. You don't read a play with the same eye with which you read a novel. It's slightly different. One is for the ear, one is for the eye. And so the Bible is a book, at least according to our tradition, that is meant for inspiration, guidance, and wisdom. It is not necessarily a book that gives us scientific historical data. It is not necessarily a book that tells us how old the earth is or in what way the earth was created. We see the Bible as a book of poetry and parables to give us inspiration. Do we take the Bible seriously? Yes, indeed. Do we take the Bible literally? No, we do not. We take it as a book that is meant to give us guidance and wisdom in these times. You know, Jesus was always teaching in parables, and we accept the parables of Jesus without question. You know, and Jesus's best teaching was when he told these stories about things that never really happened. Now, did, of course, many of the events in the Bible did, of course, happen. But the point is never did this happen. The point is, what is this saying? As in the story of the Good Samaritan, for example, did this happen is not the question. It's the message of that story that we are called to learn from. And so that's that's how we look at the entire Bible. It's the message that matters to us, the message of peace, love, acceptance, and joy, a life of joy. And so people sometimes ask, but it's the word of God. How can you say that one part of the Bible is more, uh, more authoritative than another part of the Bible? And I would say to that, that our hermeneutic, or the way through which we read the Bible, is the life of Jesus. And so, if you find something in the book of Judges, for example, where they're uh, indiscriminately killing each other and saying that God told them to do it, we would say, well, this is part of our faith tradition, but this is not the Word of God so much uh, as the Gospels, where Jesus tells us to love our neighbors, uh, and to embrace people, to welcome, and to feed, and to clothe, and to care for, and to find peace uh, with God through the teachings and the life of Jesus. And so we read the entire scripture, the entire scriptural canon, which is 66 books written down through the course of many centuries uh, by different authors. We read it entirely through the life and the person of Jesus. Does this reflect the person that Jesus is? Because Jesus is the ultimate word of God. Uh, he is the word of God incarnate. And so that's our understanding of the Bible. Thank you.